So I am being joined with Ian Keith, aka Fo, and um, he's gonna run Rocket Knight for us. Uh, hello. How's it going? Are you ready? Uh, <laughs> define ready. I have no doubts that you're gonna do absolutely wonderful, and um, I'm excited to start whenever you are. All right. Um, game doesn't need a whole lot of preface. It's a sequel slash spiritual sequel to the boss awesome platformers from the '90s. So, uh, I'm pretty much ready to start. All right. Whenever you're ready to count it down and get going, that's we're here and we're ready. Yep, my timer is gonna start as soon as I smash the A button one more time. And I'll count that down, I guess. Alright. Alright. If we're ready, then. Three, two, one, begin. So, welcome to Rocket Knight. This game came out in 2010. It's obviously a sequel to games. Well, not obviously, if you didn't know, but it's a sequel to games like Rocket Knight Adventures and Star Wars that came out. In SNES and Genesis back in the mid 90s. It's largely a difficult platformer. At least it's very Adorable, yes. Difficulty is the problem now, but thanks for that. The main mechanic, as you see me using a whole lot so far, is boosting. Because Sparkster is impossible, but. You're not going to take on the wolf army, it's just a boss. You gotta have some awesome stuff. Like, you know, sword, attack, you know, uh, accoutrement. The thing is, they drag poor sparks on it. One other big thing you'll notice about this game large subway is like but for the most part you're also going to see a whole lot of very tight very fun platforms i'm sorry i just watched the movie so you know, by yeah, just... all my boosting is controlled by that new upper left when they come to feeling thank goodness because i use it all the time have you ever seen like not boosting? It seems counterintuitive because you want to go fast and speed run. It's because I need more fuel to boost. That's just one of the biggest parts of this run. Just for boosting how much we've got. We've reached the end of the first stage, thank goodness. A lot of the platform games I where you get just waves of energy, not very and, uh, and then you're done. I do a little pose. You skip a bunch of cutscenes and counting up points. I do love score points. Now we get into the bane of every speedrunner. Uh, who's ready for a four minute long auto scroller? One little mechanic to explain really quick. Now all of a sudden I can fly and shoot giant laser beams. As long as I've charged up enough. Anyway, this would be a great time for me to pause my voice for a minute so you can hear someone far cooler. You're too funny, but um, no, we have a ton of um, incentives going on for bidding right now. Um, Name Wars is one of them. It's uh, maybe one of my favorite because I just might want one of the uh, Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise characters named after me because why not? Um, so you can get in on that too. Um, when you make a donation in the comment section, just put which one you would like to be named and what. Um, and those character names are for Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise, the six character limit. Um, there's also character naming for. Um, Zelda Twilight Princess has one um, to name Link and also um, for Epona, they have eight character limits on those. 
so go ahead and make a donation in the comments let us know which character you want named what and we'll get you in there i'm all for getting character names go for it do it oh i'm i'm definitely in for the final fantasy 4 for sure that's one of my favorites and um yeah so i made my donation so if you bid against me i am gonna outbid you <laughs> Oh, speaking of donations, there are two skips in this game. If I get them on first try, it's 30 bucks a piece. Oh, my controller has stopped going for a moment. Oh no. This happened. Oh, no, almost. So explain that again. There are two skips in this game, and you're going to make a $30 donation if you make each one of them on the first try? Each one is worth $30. So All that, right. could be, that could be 60 bucks right there for charity. Also, controller stopped working for several seconds and I didn't lose any time. Womp womp. So we were all hoping that you make those skips on the first try because that's an exuberant amount of money going to our kiddos. Ah, even if we don't get them first try, uh, second or third try. For sure. Neither of them takes very long to reset. Life up there because... Boy, if I die in this run, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a sad face. I don't actually do anything else, but I'll make a sad face. Yeah, so it was mentioned in the chat if for any time it was worth the auto, uh, the controller not working, it's better that it was in the auto scroller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, thank goodness. That's it, it's the second time it's happened to me, and both times it's worth the auto scrollers. <laughs> Nicely wedged into a corner. Nothing to be happy. Yeah, there's really not a lot of ways to do these on these throws up there. Like, a second faster. Line up until the end. So I know we jumped kind of right into this game, but um, is there any cutscene information that we would have missed as far as like why you're a possum killing a bunch of wolves? Well, I'm a rocket knight. I, well, was a rocket knight. Thing is, I retired. <laughs> I, I just, just want to be a farmer. And uh, the problem is, for some reason, the wolf army started attacking me. We don't really know why, but now this guy turned into a rocket knight, and that's very strange, because he's supposed to be a bad guy, but now everybody loves him and doesn't really give you two flats about me, so, uh, gotta figure out what's going on, but first we gotta stop all the wolves from coming and beating everybody up. This is a very friendly, family friendly game, so <laughs> nobody dies, we just fall off the screen like good people. You just fall off the screen, alright. Yeah, no, pretty much. That's what I do. Alright, so we are coming up on the first of two decently big skips in the game here. Oh, Alright, oh. so fingers crossed that you're getting this on the first try. A little bit of an extra yump there at the start of the stage. Everything looks pretty normal so far. We're just gonna... Yeah, we just gotta go over here. And then... Third try. Not super fast. Eh, oh, not terrible. Yeah, no, if you throw a fireball at a wall, the game just kind of doesn't really know what to do with you and decides that the best thing to do with you is to fling you through a wall at high speeds. We also get to see the fun of momentum in this game when you're sliding down a, uh, sliding down a rail like this. You go really fast. Really fast. And that's and what it's all about. Oh yeah, no, that's pretty much what you want to be doing. The problem is there's not always a bunch of rails to slide down. So we got third try for that skip. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's worth at least ten bucks up there. Oh, that's awesome! So um, the first skip attempt we got on the you got on the third try, so it's ten dollar donation. So that's appreciated. 
and I dare people to keep up with me. Doesn't have to be the same amount, but you know. And again, you see at the end of a platforming stage, which, by the way, that skip I did cuts out at least a minute and a half of this stage. It just, you just don't do a bunch of this stage. Yeah, I feel like, um, Fo, that you and I are totally a team on this right now, and um, I'm going to match your $10 donation, and I implore anybody else in the chat, if you would like to match it as well, get those donations in. If you'd like to put them towards an incentive, go ahead and put that in that comment. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to match the $10 on that first skip. Ooh, fun. We also have now reached the first big boss of the run. This is Forest Shredder. This, he kind of introduces the concept that none of the bosses really just want you around. They're very angry having you around. This guy's just going to yell at me. Each one wastes a couple seconds. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Good news is he's big and he stands still, and I can do what's called a drill dash to do double damage because you're spinning it's a bit harder. It's slower, so you don't want to do it for moving, but for hitting things, it's great. And all of a sudden, he's dead. I'm sorry, he did, he's not dead. He fell over. Sorry. He looks anyway. like a giant rusty armadillo. <laughs> That's probably not inaccurate. Probably oh. not our Negret. All right, we move into World 2, and 2-1 two, we're now counterattacking against the Wolves, who have footballs and can paraclide because, you know, it's normal things you just see normal Wolves doing. More tight platforming. It's one of my favorite things about running this game is all the platforming levels. Like, the controls are remarkably tight. Oh, that was a bit silly little slow down cutscene there. If I was really cool, I'd be up here and jumping already. Which doesn't save any in-game time, but saves real time and looks cool. We're gonna skip a whole little section here. We're just gonna kind of, you know, jump up there. You'll notice me doing that throughout the game. It's just, yeah, I don't want to do this section. I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, it seems like a good plan to just jump to the roof and run along the roof. Yeah, no, it's usually a pretty good plan, actually. Uh, I might use that later. <laughs> I, might, you know, I, might, I might take that strategy in a little bit. So now we're just gonna continue along our merry little way. Let me, I got a little bit more time to explain some mechanics. When I'm boosting, sometimes you'll see me going off of walls and stuff. Oh, jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get them jeepers? Jeepers, creepers. Why'd you do that, guy? Um. Anytime you see me boosting just in a straight line, that's a, that's generally a fixed distance unless I cancel it. However, you can extend a boost if you bounce off the walls. It's important for getting up certain areas. It's important to, re to make certain jumps. And it also just means you're at a boosting speed for longer, which is a nice thing because it's fast. Anyway, this section here, there's two different ways to do it. I could have either blown up all the cannons on that ship, or if I drill this little chunk here, I make logs roll on the ship, which makes it tip over, which obviously means the ship has been defeated. If it if if it lists slightly to one side. But since I defeated that ship, I get rewarded with um You guessed it, another four minute auto scroller. Oh wow. <laughs> Hopefully, your controller doesn't stop working. <laughs> I... I hope so, too. And TK is also matching the $10 donation from um, the first skip. Awesome. Yeah, uh, and every now and again, enemies, like, don't quite get defeated right away. Sometimes they just think about it for a minute. That was one of them. Ah, one of my favorite flying enemies. I call these guys John Maddens because those are supposed to be bundles of dynamite. They definitely look like footballs. And when you're actually listening closely to the game audio, they sound like a flat football when they get hit, or when they get hit too, so. They totally look like footballs. <laughs> We did get another donation, too, from Beaveresque of $30 and said, I'll go ahead and I'll match the original amount. Also, Kaglin Ham Honks. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Ooh. I'm glad to see my bear went through. <laughs> it did, it did. Very successful. And the little inside joke is great, too. Thank you for that. Oh, ham hogs. Oh, also more forced doing nothing for several seconds as we change view. Is this another boss fight you're coming up on? With the giant mm. ship here? Or not really? Uh, not quite. It's just a lot of very generic seconds. You'll have to take out each of these cannons. But the good news is you can just get right up on them. Steadily tap the attack button or shoot them from nearly off the screen. Yeah, one thing about this game is when you're in these flying sections, you don't want to be smashing as fast as possible because you get interrupted a lot. But if you find a nice smooth rhythm, you actually shoot faster. No. And then you face tank all the shots. You'll notice me doing that a lot. I'd say damage boosting, but I really... It's its a lot of stuff that, honestly, most of the time I could avoid. I just, you know, tank it. That's why we play on normal difficulty. <laughs> a lot more health. Things do less damage. graphics in this game are actually pretty neat. Like, the moving components in the back compared to the stuff that's in the forefront is actually really cool. Yeah, I mean, for coming out in 2010, it's, uh... It holds up. The hitboxes, on the other hand... And we're about to finish with this auto-scroller. Cool. That was an entirely bog standard Q2. We're now coming up on 2-3, which introduces a very cool mechanic. So you know how my uh, my boost has been recharging all game? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the wolves live in a very cold place. So uh, no more free recharging. In fact, it's cold enough that it freezes jet fuel. So it can no longer melt steel beams. And instead, we have to either collect these pickups or stand in really warm places, like torches. Oh, that's not the move I wanted to do. Yeah, if you stand in a torch or you collect a pickup, you can regain boost. Otherwise, you just kind of got what you got, and that's it. Oh, I'm doing this the extra slow and careful way. All right, doing this the extra slow and careful way. So, the biggest part of this stage is extremely careful management of your news power. Because until you find another one of these lamps or another one of the pickups, you just don't get any more, which is very rare compared to the rest of the game. Which makes this one of the more demanding stages as far as just how you want to route it, how you want to go about everything. Thankfully, they're fairly generous with where they put a lot of lamps and pickups. But at the same time, this is a lot of practice going into the movement here, too. Oh, he says as he boosts into a fireball. This area, you've actually got to take a moment to get a little bit of extra boost, because you've got to make two boosts there without uh, running out of fuel. you got to go back down and look like a chump, and I don't want to do that. We come into the required elevator section and watch a guy walk through a wall. Thank you. Goodbye, wall walk. Okay. Yeah, every video game needs an elevator section, so here's this game's one. This guy shoots through the floor a lot, like he just did there. 
That's why I hit him in the face with this attack and I didn't want him to shoot him anymore. Conserving a lot of my power here. So I can do that. I'm gonna get over here because we're gonna get a couple more rocket guys. Those are the worst enemies in the game because if that rocket hits you, it flat out just stops you in your tracks. It takes you out of boosts, takes you out of everything. Hey, did you like elevator sections? You gonna do another one? Again. Before I go to the Wolf King, any quick donations? Ooh, yeah, let me check here. I got very into the game and watching the elevator section. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, but I do want to say, though, uh, if people are enjoying the marathon and they want to see more awesome furries playing video games for Extra Life, then be sure to check out the main Extra Life fundraising weekend, which is happening November 2nd and 3rd. Go ahead and follow at Furs for Life on Twitter for updates and information. So, welcome to the Wolf King, boss number two. Uh, in the theme of bosses just not wanting them around you, this guy is actually slightly aggressive and will run at you, and sometimes even do things that allow you to do damage to him. An aggressive wolf, you don't say. <laughs> right? One of the most fun ways is you just drop him through a hole. And then he runs away for a moment. And then he falls over. He, he falls over. Mine. Thank you very much. Also, a little bonus mechanic there. If you do damage in a certain style to the boss, it unlocks the hard mode for the next area. Oh. Anyway, uh, we now now find out that we've totally been betrayed by Axel Gear because, wow, a guy with dark magic power and stuff betrayed us. <gasps> no way! No, he was actually teamed up with a bunch of pig dudes. Led by General... Oh, crap. Swineheart. I forgot his name for a moment. Anyway, they throw us into a bunker. The one nice thing about this bunker is, you, you know how heat rises, it apparently doesn't always rise. It's warm down here. We can go back to having our boost power back. What this area does introduce is switches. These little green ball things here, you see? Yeah, those are switches. And I hope you like them, because you're going to see a lot of them for the rest of the time. I got these turrets things, they're not really important. The switches are also going to get us on cycles. Did you forget about cycles? We're back on cycles. That's exactly what everybody wants in the game controlling what time you can do things. Anyway, we are now... Oh boy, we are now not quite making that cycle, and that's going to throw off my time for a little bit. Oh well. It was close. I mean, that's marathon stream things, right? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> if that's the worst thing that happens in this stream, I'm doing well, at least for my run, I'm doing really good. The only problem is, like, this is gonna be sad and awkward now. Oh my god, I made it. I just saved myself, like, 10 seconds back right there. Because Excellent. I would have had to wait for an elevator to go all the way down. We're now in the boiler room. Hey, you remember those cycles? Yo, yeah, no, this room is all cycles, 100% cycles. And momentum. Oh, it seems know. like the hits are pretty forgiving, though. Like, you got squished by a plate, but it seemed pretty forgiving. Yeah, uh, especially on normal, not a lot of stuff done does a ton of damage. By the way, a little sequence right here. You're supposed to go up, around, and back down to get over to that switch. Or you can be like me, run into a wall and shoot, shoot it through said wall, and then get fancy and get back on that plate. Oh, that's actually... I don't know how much time it saves. Not more than maybe 10, 15 seconds max, but it's, it feels so cool when you actually pull it off. Anyway, we are now out of the boiler plate room. Hey, do you like elevator fights? I mean, I got caught up in the last elevator, so yeah, let's, let's go in more elevators. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a very short elevator ride in comparison, or fortunately, I think it's how you feel about elevator rides. But it leads you into this area with three rooms. You've got to defeat them all. In this one, to keep the enemies, so that you can break. Oh my God! Thanks for the slow animation. But you've got to break those little things at the end of them because each one is powering a lock to the right. 
first one was that little battle challenge. The next one is ooh, switches. He's handy. You gotta go through and hit four switches in this room. Oh, I missed that one twice. Cool. Take the back of the direction. Break that thing. We move along to the third room. Yeah, all of these are very short little rooms in that checkpoint. Next thing. Third room is a fun little platforming challenge. There are several ways to go about this. One of, one of my favorite is squeeze through that thing because you're definitely not supposed to do it that way. <laughs> and now we can leave. Oh, but there's a man stopping us. It's this guy. Oh. Oh, he's dead. He, I'm sorry. He fell off the screen. Oh. All right. So remember how I said there were two big skips in this game? Yes. This this entire stage is a bunch of little skips in one big one. In the meantime, though, anything else fun to read? Yeah, for sure. So, um, if you enjoy playing video games on Twitch, and um, if you would also like to help out sick kiddos, and you ever feel a bit fuzzy, and if you're saying yes to all these things, you might be perfect um, for our Extra Life team. If you're interested in joining, click on the Join Team button in the graphic below the stream window, or type exclamation point join in the chat. That sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. In the meantime, I've just been skipping a whole bunch of small little puzzles that don't really add up to much. Um... Ah, oh, there we go. 48th times charm. That was not the big skip, don't worry. Okay. Yep. It was like a small little skip. Somebody during one of my practice runs described this as my beer cave. I don't know why, but I like that description now, so... Pretty much this whole stage has become my beer cave. Where I go for a beer. Alright. But, uh, the problem is, this is a really cool stage. It's really hard and super long. It's like a six minute long stage. Good news is, it's got elevators. If you're captivated by elevator rides, have some more. <laughs> the thing is, really hard sounds difficult, and six is a lot of minutes. I don't really know if I can feel it. It's, you know what? It kind of makes you want to spin and freak out. Oh, look. Spin and freak out. Oh, look. Kind of makes you want to leave, doesn't it? Oh, nah, not quite. All right, and uh, I don't feel like playing anymore. I'm just gonna go left. Second try, skip. By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's twenty more dollars. Twenty more dollars. So that was the second big skip, um, and Bo got it on the second try. So that's twenty more dollars donated towards um, our extra life goal. And again, if anybody in the chat wishes to match that donation, you can hit exclamation point donate or click on the donate button below the stream. Also, also stuff like that will help distract me from what is unarguably the worst boss in the game, which is the refight with Axel here. Because being a Rocket Knight, he also gets a jetpack and a laser sword. This does way cooler stuff to mine. I was like, gonna he, say, th this boss looks familiar. He's very familiar and very annoying. <laughs> it's awful. This fight is just terrible. He just flies away from you. He's impossible to get near. And there's like no good way to make damage to him. Aside from if he stands still and shoots giant laser beams in a straight line. Because otherwise, he really flings himself away from you. However, sometimes you can get this thing to hit him. That's how you get the hard mode. Well, well, it just disappeared, and also, so did he. Okay, safety health, thank you. We're just gonna play it super safe right now. Yeah, this is by far the worst fight in the game. It's honestly going smoother than I expected, save for I missed a great opportunity there to do damage, but nope. There's really nothing you could do about this boss fight, aside from get very sad and yell a lot. Nope. Alright, it's over. Hooray! I only lost 
35 seconds off of my best possible time on it. I'm sorry, 38 seconds. I mean, it, seconds. Still, it still looks like it went really well, though. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it went okay, but my reward for losing 38 seconds is another auto throw, so. Thank goodness, last full auto scroll in the game. This one's actually difficult. But it is four more minutes of flying, so we've got more people who've been throwing money at charity as well they should. So we got a very generous donation again from Beaveraz for $30 saying, What's that? Donate the original amount again? Okay. So thank you for that. <laughs> it's an another thirty dollars from Beavers. Thank you so much for that, Bucky. Making me look bad here. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, this stage is chock full of some of the most irritating possible enemies in a side-scrolling, auto-scrolling shoot-em-up thing. Enemies that move in horrible patterns take a hundred billion hits to defeat and, uh... Sometimes turn invisible. Are you ready? Oh! Oh, and my least favorite guys, them, the pigs in the copters, they look like little robot copters. Half the time, their movement involves flinging themselves across the screen in horrible ways, so you can't hit them. We've got the invisible flight guys. Oh, yep, like this. Like this. He just flings himself up and down. That was remarkably calm. So, a lot. Oh, oh my gosh. For a second there, I was trying to was not a lot of using of charge shots because it's the only way to get enough damage quickly. Thank goodness for all the checkpoints of this level. I actually used to take some safety deaths in this stage with how difficult it is compared to the other auto scrollers. But then I realized if I just be better at the game. Stage has a number of health pickups in it. Well, I suppose everyone does technically. Sometimes that number is zero or very few. But this one has a bunch of health pickups in there. I'll take one one up. To Uh, yeah, we're taking the pig he pig army on head on now because they were the ones masterminding the whole war between us and all of the half possible people. So obviously they're not thrilled about us and the fact that I escaped from the arcade. <laughs> so I did want to say here oh. too that while we talked about joining and donating, um, I just wanted to say that the first for life have been doing extra life charity work for seven years, and in that time has raised over a hundred and fifty thousand dollars for Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Uh, this year's goal of fifty thousand dollars, if reached, which I, you know, I'm confident that they're going to be able to do that, that we're going to be able to do that. Um, that if they hit it this year's goal, that they'll break the $200,000 raised for Extra Life. So I'm reaching the end of the final auto skill in the game. Thank goodness. I've got to hit this battery looking thing about 184,000 times. Oh, good. I did it. Approaching the end of the game. Coming up next is the final full platformer. Ah, oh, it's just more fun. It's really tight platforming. There's a couple minor skips of little puzzles of things where I just decide that I don't actually want to do them. There's this. Oh, I made it underneath that little boost out. Oh, that's good. That just makes me feel happy. There's a lot of me face tanking stuff because I'm not smart and that's the only strategy I have. And there's the worst enemies. 
Yeah, those guys with like the stun batons. Oh, they take a ton of hits to kill. They run away from you a lot. They do a bunch of damage. They're pretty terrible. Here's one. Also, here's a cool puzzle where you're supposed to like go up between these uh, closing plates here. Or you can be like me, ignore them, and go up the wall. This is also... Oh, gosh. That was... Interesting. This is also where you start seeing more and more about how to, like, using extended boosts to go farther. Because you need every bit of your boost distance to do a lot of these jumps. The game has finally taken off all of its jackals at this point, and I'm just gonna ignore half of it because it's me runs. Look at all these cool lasers you can jump over. Ignore. Hey, what's going on up here? I don't know. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. I don't want it. I don't want it. No, thank you. Oh. Alright, cool. That was... That was this guy's got a battery on his butt. Blow it up. Now we can hit him. Notice how effective I am at hitting him from not the direction I'm facing. That... Oh, wow. <laughs> that actually worked out really good. I was not expecting that bomb to be that friendly. Oh, I want this. All right, cool, and now we're on a blimp. You want to sit here for 10 seconds? All right, cool. That was 10 seconds. Hey, one fun thing. These blimps have big hot engines. Another fun thing. Don't stand in big hot engines. Dude, but the pigs can though, because then we'll have bacon. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, fun fact. You wanna see what happens when you stand in the big hot engine? These people do. Oh. They fell off the screen. <clears throat> So we're gonna climb up all these blimps. We're gonna climb up here. We're gonna ignore this guy. We're gonna take the safety help. It's, it's a marathon. That's what you do. Hey, look, another guy with a battery, but not anymore. Hit him from not even on the screen. One more guy spawns. Of course, it's that guy. Oh, cool. That was the last platforming stage. If we've gone through the last platform, gone through the last auto scroller, guess where we're at? The last boss. Is General is it final boss time? It is final boss time. So the thing is, he's General Swineheart is not this gigantic thing here who we need to bend down and boost like this. No, there's a reason there's two health bars in the upper right. <sighs> because everybody loves bosses that waste time with RNG. No, what we need is for this giant thing to bend over so we can gently boot his nose. What the heck? That burp. We need to gently boot his nose because that tires him out and then he lays down for a nap and he shows us General Swineheart. General Swineheart here is going to fly around in as inconvenient a way as possible. We need to boot him into a very electric static shot in the nose about like a half dozen or so times. before that bottom bar fills back up because otherwise we don't want like a boss and it's a sad day. We got a boss, uh, one more of these and then time will be right when I hit this button. Bam, time. All right. So GG's to Ian. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, we did receive another donation too um, for your second skip from TK matching thing, watching the skip donation again as promised. Thanks for a fantastic <gasps> run so far. So oh. we did get another match, so excellent. Um, can I just say, by in-game time, that was a 33 second PB. So wait a minute, you said a 33 second PB. Yup. Marathon stream and still a PB by a significant amount. Congratulations. Woohoo! Alright, 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 alright. 
Thank you so much for everything. I've got some donation to make. And I guess we can see people appreciating some stuff. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much for running today. Is there anything else you'd like to say about the game or anything? Um, thank you everybody for watching. And if you want to learn how to speed run this game as well as just play through it normally, it's actually a blast. I can teach you the skips in no time flat. And that would mean more competition means more motivation to run faster. So, I mean, hit me up if you feel like it. Or just watch me yell at it and other things on Twitch. Eh, you know, whatevs. Thank you so much, and donate big piles of money.